pop quiz. We know residents are cornerstone of your business, but do you know when you start building those relationships? A, when they move in, B, when they sign the lease, or C, when they pay their first month's rent? Trick question, the answer is none of them. Building good resident relationships starts before all that. Kelly with Buildium here, the platform that lets property managers control the chaos, sharpen their operations, and take on more doors. Today, we'll focus on tenant screening. I'll take you through the steps of setting up a fair and transparent screening process that complies with FHA and local laws. I'll also take you through some common screening pitfalls that could jeopardize your reputation as a property manager and set you up for some resident relationships down the road. Okay, first things first. Let's talk about setting up a screening process that's easy and clear for your future residents. Wouldn't it be nice if it were as simple as this? We all know it's not that simple, but you can get close. The next best thing is to set up a user-friendly portal where future residents can submit their application, get a confirmation that you got it, and get updates on the go on its status in the tenant screening process. A property management software solution that includes tenant screening can help you kick off those great relationships. Just listen to this. The one feature that I don't think the property managers could live without is the building tenant screening. It's amazing and it's not expensive. And when you find a tenant who is moving into a property, a lot of times they don't want to spend $40, $50 on tenant screening. And the Buildium offered tenant screening offers a great screening product at a fair price. And sometimes that's the difference of getting the difference of getting a great tenant versus an okay tenant. The impression you make during the application and screening process sets the tone for the relationship you build with future residents. But it goes beyond communication. It also includes fairness and transparency, making sure you're treating all applicants fairly and are forthcoming in your process. So before we get into all the do's and don'ts of tenant screening, let's talk FHA. No matter how you screen your applicants, you absolutely have to follow the Fair Housing Act, or FHA. The FHA prevents owners and property managers from denying housing to anyone based on race, color, religion, sex, national origin, familial status, people who have children, are pregnant, or trying to have children, and disability. But the FHA rules cover more than that. For instance, did you know that you can't apply tenant screening rules unevenly across groups? So if you decide to waive application fees for veterans, you have to waive them for every other applicant. And you couldn't require more references from students than from other applicants. It's important to check state and local fair housing laws as well. Many communities include protections for groups based on gender identity, for example. Now that we've covered some of the nuts and bolts of tenant screening, let's look at some common screening pitfalls that could land you with a bad resident fit that could mean broken leases, evictions, and a hit to your reputation. Pitfall number one, a lack of details in your listing. Before the application process even begins, you can save everyone a lot of time by creating detailed listings that include key information like updated photos or videos of the property, move-in date, amenities, rent, and fees. Pitfall number two, having no qualifying questions. Even simple questions about pets, move-in date, or deposits can eliminate unqualified candidates right off the bat. After all, there's no point running a credit check on someone who can't move in when a property becomes vacant. Just make sure you don't ask questions that would violate the FHA. Pitfall number three, screening only one applicant. If you have more than one applicant for a unit, screen everyone. While the primary applicant may check out, a secondary applicant could be unemployed, 
have credit problems, or a history of disputes with previous landlords. Pitfall number four, screening only the question marks. It's tempting to screen only the applicants you're not sure of, but don't fall into that trap. What if an applicant has enough income, but a job that moves them around? They may break their lease, leaving you stuck with a vacancy. Pitfall number five, skipping references. I know, calling all those references takes so much time. If their credit and employment history give you a pretty good picture, why bother? Think about this. You come across an applicant with a low credit score, but excellent references from their previous landlords. References can tell you a lot more about an applicant than simple numbers on a page. A tenant screening software solution can pull all the data you need on an applicant almost immediately, making the process much faster and more efficient. Let's take a look at an example. Here's a unit that's open that we'd like to fill. Let's see who we have that might be a good fit. Oh, here we go. Mm, their credit score is not exactly what we were hoping for. Let's see if there's anything we're missing. Well, look at that. Turns out this person has gone through a divorce recently, which would explain their credit score. But it says here they have never missed a rent payment, ever. That's what I'm talking about. So we had a prospective tenant that at first glance looked less than ideal, but after digging in and really taking a look, we found a good candidate. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship or a resident relationship at least. And as you continue to provide excellent service, they may recommend you to their friends. Want to learn more? Check out our blog post in the link below or sign up for a free trial at buildum.com. And be sure to check out all our other videos on all kinds of property management topics.